There we go. Now we're live. Sorry about the tech issues this morning. Mercury retrograde is not is, I'm sure it's contributing factor to this this morning. It's really nice to meet you face to face, kind of, in a way. Yes. So do you oh, yeah, pronounce it Tara or Tara? Um, it's Tara. Tara, yeah. Tara. <laughs> and you're Lara. Yes. Lara? Yeah. It's, it's funny because in, in the States we do we say Tara, but everybody calls me Lara and it drives me crazy when it, oh, <laughs> yeah. it's like <laughs> So oh, no, I, I like the way you pronounce it. Thank you. Oh pretty so, um, good. <laughs> we are gonna hi guys, good morning. Hi. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna read the comments for you now that uh, we had to go on the phone. Coffee. Good morning, David. Good morning, Adriana. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Aku. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome, guys. So, where about are you located, Tara? So, I'm actually currently in a very rainy location um, in Poole, in Dorset, um, which is southern okay. UK in England. In England, yes. Yeah. Nice. So, Wonderful. it's typically rainy. It's April showers. Very rainy day today. How is it with you? It is the, you know, it's same shit, different day, really, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> the weather is still kind of getting better here, too. It's been raining a lot here as well, but uh, it just means everything's going to be nice and green soon, so no yeah, complaint. Exactly. Yeah, there's always something good out of something bad, I guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, how did you, I'm just curious. How, you, you're a reflexologist, yeah? How did you get into yeah. that? Yeah, so I qualified 12 years ago, um, or actually 13 years ago in July. Um, and yeah, so I was working um, in sort of um, the corporate environment. And then I became a mother um, to my son, he'll be 14 at the end of the year. Um, and I suddenly realized, uh, especially after giving birth, how amazing the human body is. And I've always been interested in alternative therapies and natural remedies and so on. Um, but I've never really wanted to, or never thought I would work with feet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so reflexology is all about the feet. It's all based around the feet. But um, I love the fact that reflexology um, is completely natural. Um, and it's been around for over 5,000 years. It's really stood the test of time. It's like an ancient therapy. Um, but it's just not very well understood, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so I got into it um, from working what I call the rat race and just wanting to get out of that and um, wanting to have a job that I could work around my children and my family. And that's how I got into it, really. So I really have found my passion in reflexology and I want to share that with the world. So <laughs> that's why I'm here today. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so this is a, one of the many different types of holistic therapies that are out there for people that may for not sure. know. Do you mind explaining a little bit about it? Yeah, for sure. So um, like I said, it's not very well understood. Um, and it's like an ancient art um, and therapy and it's based around the feet. There's over 7,000 nerve endings in the feet that correspond with all different parts of the body. Um, and yeah, it's basically totally amazing and awesome. And it can really um, potentially cure ailments. Um, it's very relaxing. Um, I call my um, business R&R &R Reflexology because it's relaxing and rejuvenating R&R &R Reflexology. Um, and nice. because it's holistic, um, holistic um, is all about um, obviously looking at the whole person. And it really does treat the whole person. It's good for your mind, your body, your spirit, your emotions, and so much more. Um, and yeah, it's just totally awesome, I think. <laughs> So what would one normally expect to have from a session when you when you go to a session? Okay, so your first session um, would usually last around an hour and a half. Um, and you would come in on the, on the very first session, um, I do an in-depth um, like consultation um, where we get to know each other um, and I find out exactly what um, areas you might want me to focus on or if it's just a sort of generic treatment um, and yeah most people come away um, a lot of people are quite skeptical especially my for example my husband he was like how can your stomach be in your foot <laughs> and um but now he wants it all the time um he's always like oh let's have a reflex let's have a reflex he just loves it and um he was a real skeptic and a lot of people are because it does seem almost unbelievable to think that your body is reflected in your foot, but it totally is. 
Um, so like I said, treatment itself entails an hour and a half, come in, a consultation, and then you would remove any footwear, so your feet are totally bare. And then I would cleanse the foot with um, like a tea tree infused wipe, um, use powder, and then um, I bond with the feet. Um, and then the treatment itself, there's four different zones horizontally and then five zones vertically that correspond again with all um, energy channels, um, and meridians and all the nerve endings, as I've mentioned, so 7,000 nerve endings that correspond with parts of the body. Um, and then as I work each area, um, it can clear any blocked pathways um, or blocked meridians. Um, and because it's good for you, mind, body, spirit, emotion, when you relax, um, even when you sleep, for example, you know, obviously that's very calming um, and that leads to clarity, which leads to positive thinking. And I always believe everything, no matter what you do, um, it's always about beginning within and connecting with yourself. And I think reflexology is the perfect opportunity and therapy or any holistic therapy is the perfect opportunity to connect with yourself because with everything in life, I think you need to begin within um, and have clarity and connection with yourself in order to have connection with everyone else and everything else. So, <laughs> what an interesting way of putting it. Because oh, they do you. say everything <laughs> is interconnected and you don't realize that there are parts of your body that are connected to spirit as well and all sorts of, it's all connected what? really. Yeah. 100%. I mean, when um, mind and body, obviously, relaxing is good for the mind and body, obviously, your foot's connected and your body. But I think spiritually, how reflexology can be good because it, it, it enhances connection with higher forces. Because once you're relaxed, you are going to be more connected to the higher forces. And also, as I mentioned, um, it helps clear energy pathways. Um, um, so life force energy can you can you can reconnect with that so i think that's how it's very good for you on a spiritual level i mean there's a lot more to it than that but um i think on a basic level um that's how it's good for you on a spiritual level yeah so <laughs> so how did you what was your spiritual awakening like what kind of led you down this path well i've always um even as a young girl i've always been interested in um like um gemstones for instance i remember going to a spiritual shop as a little girl and always feeling um a connection with alternative therapies and alternative ideas about things i'm definitely not a conventional person um i should probably notice <laughs> and um i just love um anything alternative and most importantly anything natural um, I think um, I'm a real believer of uh, mind over matter and I think we can heal ourselves and it's all about, like I say, I, even as a little girl going into a shop at about the age of seven and finding these stones and feeling such a connection with the, you know, the gemstones and crystals. And um, I believe that's because that there is something in it. And But a lot of people in the Western world, I think, sadly, don't believe that, do they? And my, well, that's my opinion. But I think a lot of people sort of feel like, oh, probably what we, uh, some people might think what we're t even talking about right here, right now, they don't believe in it, which makes me feel so sad because I feel there's such potential in alternative therapies such as reflexology and all the rest of them, you know? Absolutely. You're always going to get people that are going to be like, oh, knife rocks. But then <laughs> you're going to get a lot of people these days that, that pick up a crystal and can feel something from it. And uh, when using those crystals for healing, it, it actually, it can really speed up your healing process. Totally and utterly. And it's, but again, it all be begins in the mind. Everything begins and ends in the mind. And I feel like it's all about what you believe. Um, and you have to believe that to your core. And I honestly want everyone... I would love it for, if everyone had more of a belief in, you know, things like um, holistic therapies, reflexology, crystals, and also having more of a connection with oneself. I think that's so important as well. Absolutely. Okay. And belief does play a huge role in this. You know, if you don't believe that it's going to work, it's not going to work. Totally. Um, I saw a little, um, like, post about belief, and inside the word belief is the word lie, and a lot of things that we believe sometimes might not always be true. And because that's what we've been, we've been taught um, from day one, it doesn't necessarily mean that's that's real for you, you know? So a belief isn't necessarily 
because you've been told it's true sometimes you should really feel does that resonate with you and is is that actually true so a belief or a, a lie <laughs> kind of thing <laughs> yes there's a lot of different perspectives that have to be taken into consideration yeah. and all of us we all have our own truth as they say exactly exactly and everyone, everyone should respect each other everyone's truth but um i do feel that sometimes um we get taught things that aren't are quite restrictive yeah. like um you know things that are shown on the t on the news and the tv um you know i just feel like it's a bit sad really the way we're sort of taught everything is quite um not as positive as it is and not as we, we should be more open to things as a society i think so well that's why it's important to explore things like this new therapies new treatments and that sort of thing and just give it a go and be open-minded about it and see what unfolds exactly exactly <laughs> cool well do you mind sharing a little bit more about it like for example um how would you know for if you could just see somebody's feet how could you tell um that their health needs work well for example if they were very dry that would be a sign of dehydration if they had lots of lines striations in certain areas this could be a sign of an imbalance in that area and also when you're working on the feet as you go through um there's different movements with your thumb knuckles fingers and so on and if there is an energy pathway that's um blocked um that someone might not even be aware of this could feel like um it's quite random actually it's like either a grain of sand a, a grain of salt or even the size of a pea it can be really vary i felt different ones over the years like i said i've been doing it for 12 years now um but really it can feel like a group of um yeah like sand under the skin and that would signify that in that area for example if it was on the big toe um that's like your head that represents your head mm -hmm. um so if you have um an issue with like their sinuses, God forbid, their brain, um, or like in this in the third zone is your digestive tract and everything to do with the digestive area. Um, so that could signify that there's a problem with digestion and so on. So it would feel like a, a lump potentially, um, or a group of, uh, or an area of like sand under the skin, and that's how you know that there's an imbalance in that area. So yeah, it's really fascinating. <laughs> wow. You wouldn't think that your feet could tell you about your whole body. That's so interesting. No, it's absolutely mad, isn't it? <laughs> it is. So That's what would be uh, a pressure point that people can kind of, because you do have pressure points in your feet that will affect other yeah. parts of your body, correct? Yeah, exactly. So like um, I would say that uh, there's four horizontal zones. So zone one is everything from your shoulders up. And then obviously that's everything in that area. So shoulders, neck, eyes, ears, teeth, ears, um, ears again, <laughs> um, brain and so on. So a really important area. I mean, all the areas are important, but you know, your brain and everything is in the zone one. And on the foot, that is everything in the toe region. So all of, everything in the toe is this area. And then zone two is this chest area. And that's obviously everything like lungs to do with breathing, again, diaphragm, you know, really important area, um, the back and so on. Um, and then zone four is the largest zone um, and that's the digestive area. So that's from about the hip area down um, and yeah, so sorry, the diaphragm area down to the um, sorry lower hip and that's zone four and then everything and then is zone four sorry zane three is digestive and that's again a i'm sure it's a lot to memorize <laughs> yes um, i can put a diagram on after um i've got a really useful diagram cool. and then zane four is like lower back and so on and then your inside of your foot is your spine area it's like it um is in the body sort of in the middle and then the outer foot is all your limbs so like your hip knee elbow and so on is all on the outside of your feet um but yeah i've got a really cool diagram that is fairly simple to understand but they are all quite intricate um and obviously there's lots of different um training methods for reflexology um but yeah i mean all the diagrams are there or thereabouts so they're all very similar but they are quite hard to understand <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it, it probably takes a long time to learn all of these different points and, and to where they correspond. 
Yeah, yeah, it did. I found that absolutely fascinating because um, prior to studying reflexology, as I've mentioned, I was working like um, in banking and insurance and going to work every day, just wearing a suit and sitting in a clean desk sort of thing. And then when I went and um, studied reflexology, which is totally where I was thriving and just loved it. But the one area um, was that freaked me out a little bit was studying ana anatomy and physiology because our bodies are so amazing as we all know and um yeah just knowing all about the intricacies of each organ and exactly what is inside of us is was quite mind-blowing actually <laughs> yeah so, so um, it was I'm, I'm just curious are there any like interesting clientele stories that you could share with us things that some of your <laughs> clients have experienced um yeah I've, um, a lot of them have um what well, i'd say 98 percent of them have an amazing night's sleep which is not that interesting but um a lot of them do come to me with sleep issues and then come away saying you know thank you so much you know sleep's so important for our well-being as we all know and um you know i would say you know eight hours sleep eight hours work eight hours play that's how i always put it in simple terms um so yeah a, a great night's sleep is something that virtually all my clients report as um but any unusual stories um let me think um some of them have an emotional release which is really quite special um afterwards and get quite yeah quite emotional which is lovely um and i think that's very important for them um and yeah i've had one lady had a, totally jumped and had like almost like a spiritual enlightenment she said when i was doing that at the very end i do a chakra color balance and um so the chakras and you're, i'm sure you're aware of what they are the seven colors of the rainbow and then um, they all correspond with different parts of the body so at the end we close our eyes together and um talk about the color and the area of the body and as i got towards the end of, like the six of, of the seven colors i think it was on the uh, third eye the lady I was working on suddenly jumped with her. It's like, oh my gosh, she's, she's like, I just saw this like almost like a flash. And it was like, oh my goodness. Like that was quite, that's probably the most memorable over the years. But yeah, so that was quite mad. <laughs> Interesting. That was really nice. Uh, that, we... I find that's a really nice spiritual way to round off. And um, it really does emphasize the spiritual side of reflexology, doing the chakra color balance. And I always say um, in the consultation, just before we begin the treatment, I always say, oh, at the end, I do a chakra color balance. And unfortunately, again, because of um, people not really understanding, um, I mean, not all of my clients don't understand what that is, but a lot of them are like, oh, what's that? And I always say, it's the colors of the rainbow that correspond with different parts of the body. And most people are like, wow that's really wow when they come out of it it's really nice to see their reaction because they just didn't expect to have that chakra color balance at the end and like i say i think with i would say you know mind body spirit emotions i would say that's a really really spiritual part for me and for my clients to have that um the, the seven colors and the the spiritual connection come in and a lot of them are like <gasps> Oh, I saw all the colours as you were saying them, and at the end, I saw you know it went all really quite trippy, and yeah, it's it's really nice. That's my favourite part. I would say of the, of the, my favourite way to round off a treatment is with the chakra colour balance, and like I say, I always round off like that. But yeah, the the one I'd say is the most memorable, quite a unusual story, is the lady who went, <gasps> she like jumped, but I was like. <laughs> <laughs> You certainly helped remove a block or something there for her. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So yeah, that was quite mad. That was a little while ago, probably before lockdown. So, but yeah, I do remember that one. And I was like, I was really worried because I thought she was like, I don't know, it's quite, I've never seen it that happen before. So it was quite funny. <laughs> Jenny had a question. She, I, I don't even know what this is, Jenny, but I'll ask anyway. Does plantar fasciitis tell you anything about your health? Yes. For sure, plantar fasciitis. I think that's how you say it. It's one of those Latin words, you. you know. For, um, <laughs> Never <laughs> even heard like, of it. Thank you. Yeah, that's like <laughs> ASP. Like when you do the anatomy and physiology, they have all these wacky, crazy names. But it's really fascinating. Again, knowing all the Latin. But yeah, it's called plantar fas fasciitis. Um, yes, so that's um, basically where your foot has an incredible amount of pressure on it. Um, and a lot of nurses, I think that I've seen seem to suffer with that so it was when you're on your feet or hairdressers actually as well so when you're on your feet for a prolonged amount of time your foot 
and it's more on the inside of the foot from memory i haven't seen a client for a little while with it but it's on the inside or it might be the outside but it's more on the inside and yeah and it's amazing for that so i would highly recommend it um for plantar fasciitis um and that's all to do with pressure on the feet and the bone and it's sort of like i'm not i can't give you an exact because i'm not a doctor i always say i'm not a doctor <laughs> um, but yeah plantar fasciitis is a lot to do with having pressure on the, the muscle and the bone on the bottom of the foot on the inside of the foot and reflexology can definitely help yes <laughs> wonderful great question jenny thank you and thank you very much for that answer uh jessica has a cool question can we do reflexology on our pets Yes, I've heard of this. Um, I'm not qualified in that, but I know that you can. Yes. Um, and my dog would probably love it. Look, she's looking over now, Lola, my little friend. She, she would probably love it, <laughs> she's I like, think. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she knows what we're saying. <laughs> um, but yes, I've definitely heard that's a possibility. Um, and I believe it would work. And once I've maybe my children are a little bit older, um, I think that's something I would like to look into because it sounds really good fun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So is there anything that we could maybe try today if somebody was watching that wanted to try something with their own foot? Any pressure points? Anything interesting yeah. that we could kind of check out? Yeah, sure. Um, let me just grab my, what's my reflexology diagram and then I can sort of talk through it. So two seconds. Sure. Perfect. <laughs> there you go, guys. Get all your footsies out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a bit of lotion for mine. See, see, we've got the lotion here. <laughs> I'm cracking up at your comment, Jessica. Whipping my foot out in the office. Don't mind me. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, I love you too, Nicolette. <laughs> Lisa says, I'm so thankful I cannot see everyone's feet. <laughs> Some of us do have foot complexes. Some people, which one of you guys don't like your feet being touched? <laughs> I'm kind of indifferent about feet. I don't really think they're ugly or pretty. I just kind of think they're, they're important <laughs> for, for getting around. But what about you guys? Anybody else have any complexes about their feet? <laughs> Yeah, same here, Michelle. Hi, Steph. Nice to see you, bud. <laughs> so sorry about that. Sorry, I thought it was more... No, it's totally okay. We're all just here chatting about feet. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're very fascinating things. But you know, you know, we have a lot of stuff we need to get over, and I think the whole aversion to feet is one of those things. Like, there's nothing well, yeah. gross about feet. No, exactly. Apart from if they're a bit stinky, I guess, but <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how much you're working. <laughs> um, but yeah, I never thought I would work with feet until, like I say, when I gave birth and realized how amazing our bodies are. I mean, that's how we're all here. It's the most basic thing. It's part if, if it wasn't for birth, no one would be here. But when I gave birth to a baby and I was just like blown away, I was like, I can't just return to you know, just working normally. I want to do something where I can work and help people and work with human body and understand it. So that's why I studied reflexology. And um, honestly, it's just amazing. And yeah, but I never thought I'd work with feet. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was a bit like, oh, I mean, feet are very important. And but I just never really thought yeah. I'd work with them. But now I do. So that's it's quite mad. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So. I just get my um, my lights gone off for some reason. Um, sorry to apologise. Oh, no worries. <laughs> um, right. 
Thinking that light would give it a better. Uh, a better view on the diagram. No worries. We were having some issues with her laptop this morning. So Mercury retrograde is, is something else this week. It's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. The comments about your husband's feet are cracking me up, by the way. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> like, you haven't seen my hubby's feet. You don't know. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, right. My light's not working now. For goodness sake. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Uh, Jessica wants to know if, if flat feet or high arches play a difference in reflexology. No, but I do need to, I always make a note of that because before I start, like I said, I bond with the feet and I would always notice that, of course, during your treatment, but it wouldn't really affect the treatment, no. Um, but it's just interesting because everyone's feet are completely unique. Um, and yeah, but it doesn't affect the treatment, no. Um, can you see this? It's probably not very clear. Or this one might be better. Yeah, she's just hold it up a little bit. We should be fine. We can't read the small words, but you can point stuff out. Yeah. Okay. So um, what we could do is, let me think. We could do a... Chakra color balance, or should we do that in a little? Should we could round off that. Oh, or, we're, all, we're game. Um, well, I, I tell you, if you want to ask, because obviously I can't. Can I chat? Um, I don't think I can. Can I? But if, does anyone have any areas they would like to? Have they got like a toothache right now, or have they got um a bad back or a sore tummy? A, or, a bad back. Let's try bad back. Lots of people have have bad backs. Anybody yeah. have any back pain? Raise your hand. <laughs> 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 so i'm going to show you where the back is on the, the diagram okay. here i'm so sorry it's not very um it'd be better if i was it's on okay. my laptop but, yeah so the back is this green area mainly here okay mm -hmm. so tap here so if you have your foot i would say sit like this with your foot i've got my feet out <laughs> so if you put your foot on your <laughs> <That's back>. <laughs> If you put okay. your foot, it doesn't matter if you, whatever you prefer, what's more comfortable, right or left, you choose um, what's most comfortable for yourself. So either foot, right or left. And then okay. if you get your foot up, like I said, on your lap, so it's sort of like facing you and we're going to work on, so we could work on the spine area to start off with. So, um... I mean, of course, normally in a treatment, I would cleanse the foot and have powdered um, cream and I use powder during the main treatment and then cream towards the end. But I don't know if anyone has a baby wiped hand and some cream, but that might be easier. But if not, we can just do it like this. <laughs> so we're going to use a technique called, um, I just call it the thumb technique. I learned 12 years ago. There is a proper terminology for it, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> So we're going to do this with our thumb, okay, along this path. So your big toe is, you've got your foot facing up and your big toe is facing you kind of thing on the side. And you're going to work down the spine because obviously that's a major part of our back. So we're going to do this with our thumb. It's, um, it's called caterpillar move or something from memory from 12 years ago. So you're going to go like this okay. with your thumb. Okay. <laughs> And do that from, <laughs> from the big okay. toe, from the big toe, down, 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 down to the green area. And this is your lower back, because again, like you say, a lot of people suffer with back issues. Yeah. And generally, well, it could be all over the back, really. So your spine, so we're just going to go up and then you can do another movement, which is really nice, which is like the finger here on this bit, so bend your finger like this, and that bit there in between the knuckle, in between the two knuckles, in between the top knuckle and bottom knuckle. Again, use that on the spine area and do rotations. So, a down, going down like this. Do oh, that feels weird. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Is anybody feeling any crystals or anything? Any crystals? I felt a bit of a punch in the middle there by my um by the ball of my foot. Okay, fine. So it's that is okay. a sign that it's maybe slightly stiff, or you might have strained it, or it just needed some TLC because I always see it as like ironing. I call it ironing it out. Um, so sometimes my husband will be like, "Oh, it needs to be ironed out," you know, because he's he works in construction and um, he'll get a lot of sciatic issues because you have the sciatic band here. Oh yeah, this is the sciatic band. Um, this area here. So you can literally work on that area doing the, the caterpillar movement with the, the thumb um, or this movement here. Um, but you can also use this part of the knuckle, again, on the sciatic band. And that's really good. Again, just for ironing issues out. It won't necessarily get rid of them. Sometimes it will. Sometimes it might just be a, a slight issue in an area. Um, or mm. other times, you know, you'll need to have a few treatments and usually by the sixth treatment it it can be pretty much resolved and gone so yeah it's a really effective way but we could also do um what about the hips is that a similar place yeah, the, hip, the hips really good one to say actually well done that's a nice one to find it's easy to find so the hips on your outside of your foot so everyone if you get your feet <laughs> and then just hold your foot like as, again as comfortably as possible Obviously, when you're doing a reflex, um, you'll have your legs out in front of you, and I'll just be doing it all, um, or the reflexologist will be doing it for you. But um, to find your hip, your is here. It's this bone. <laughs> yeah, that sticks out. Oh, okay. The bone that sticks out. If you run your hand along the outside of your foot, so your little toe here, run your hand out, and it's there. The bone that sticks out the most on the side of the foot that is your hip so that's your hip and the one that protrudes so it's literally the outside of the foot so um and it's right in the middle or on the, around the center part of the outside of your foot um and that's your hip bone the, the bit the, the bone that sticks out the most and again a really good movement to do around there would be with the flat of your thumb um and do some oils and creams um, and just if you have any hip issues, just whack that area off the foot. And it, what's absolutely mad is you have all the same points in your hands. <laughs> so you have a foot, you have them in your feet, and you have them again in your hands. So like your big thumb, and um, your thumb is like your big toe. So that's quite mad. <laughs> so you're, you're, this is like your feet. Yeah. Um, and your hip, you can feel your hip in your hand. If you do this, it'd probably be a lot easier to do it with our hands, actually, thinking about it. I haven't done hands. I mainly just do feet. But I have, um, I was trained in hands as well, um, but we mainly focused on feet. But your hip in your hand is here. If you run your hat, your finger, your little finger, which is like your little toe, and then run your fing finger along, that's your hip there, the bone that sticks out. Yes. So, yeah. And you have reflexes, exactly the same reflexes. So your big toe is your head. And your fingers are like everything in the shoulder line. And yeah, so it's the same same premise as what it is on the feet. So yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So for, for people that are new to this, because somebody was even saying that they she learned this when she was uh in the NICU with her daughter. So they've been do they do yeah. this work on babies as well. Wow, yeah, it's becoming more and more um recognized and appreciated, thank goodness. And so it should be, you know, um, and yeah, you can do um, reflexology on babies, um, which, again, I think is amazing, much better than giving, you know, medicines. Um, I mean, medicine, of course, has its place. But I feel like if you can avoid medicine and give reflexology, then do that. That's my personal belief anyway. So, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> wow. So um, is this like a, a degree that you would have to get then? Is there like a, a school that you would have to go to for this? Yeah, so um, I had my first child, as I keep mentioning, my precious babies. Um, and then I studied reflexology um, for a year. It's a year course. It's a level three diploma. In the UK, this is, I think there's all different um, methods and training um, courses you can do. But this is a really well-recognized course in the UK. And it's called a VTCT um, level three diploma. 
so that's the one I got uh-huh. um it was just a year study but it was very intensive um and as I say learning about anatomy and physiology was one of my favorite parts um of course learning how to do reflexology was the main part but um but yeah learning all about the body I just think knowledge is power and yeah. um learning about the body and especially having children I just love being able to think oh that's probably because of that and but everything is inextricably linked like I think how you think about things affects your health and yeah you know (laughs) I find it I just love it all and and that's why I love reflexology because it's holistic and it links you know the mind the body the spirit the emotions and um like I say relaxation rejuvenation that's my R&R reflexology um you know when you relax it lowers your heart rate rate your blood pressure and that relieves stress and tension um improves brain function and makes you feel more positive and then when you're rejuvenated it renews your mind your body your spirit your emotions you you relax you release you renew um and yeah you can just be your best version basically (laughs) wonderful (laughs) that is so insightful thank you very much for sharing this Oh, um, thank you. I hope I'm doing a good job. <laughs> no, you really are. I'm learning a lot here as well. I'm sure. Does anybody else have any questions? I'm trying to think. I'm coming up blank at the moment. Laurie says, yep, you have corresponding reflexology points in the hands and the left foot hand corresponds to the left side of the body and the right foot corresponds to the right side of the body. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because I'm, I was quite surprised when I, when I started um, learning all about reflexology on the course that you have reflexes in your hands and I think in your ear as well. I don't know if anyone could confirm that on the chat. Um, but I think it's in your ear, your ha- definitely in your feet, of course, hands. And you have reflex points in your teeth, I believe, as well, that correspond with different parts of the body. So again, I just find this so fascinating. Um, uh, knowledge is power, you know. I just love knowing it. And then you know, hopefully if something, God forbid, goes wrong with myself or a family member, then I can think, well, maybe it's because of that, you know? (laughs) So what is one of the signs that somebody would need a reflexology appointment? Just some underlying pain or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, people come to me um, sometimes if they're feeling um, like a bit down, tired, um, you know, it's so, so good for so many things. Um, Physically, um, if they're suffering with pain, if they've had a sports injury, um, you know, emotionally, um, if they're, you know, maybe not feeling the best level, um, you know, their mindset's not so good. um, Because when you come out, again, because of the rejuvenation side, you do feel a sense of renewal. um, And yeah, it sort of helps you regain perspective on things as well. So, um, I mean, you can come for a reflexology treatment or any holistic treatment um, with with any ailment or just, um, sometimes I call it, do you know what an MOT is? We call it an MOT. Yes, yes. Yeah, so when you have a car, um, obviously when you go to your car once a year, you have an MOT. I think reflexology is like a human MOT. So it's like at least once, I think everyone should have reflexology at least once every couple of months at least. But I think like a car, you have to, your car has to have an MOT. So I think a human should have a reflexologist. <laughs> every human should have a reflexologist, like every car has a mechanic, <laughs> which feels pretty basic. But <laughs> well, it makes a lot of sense because a lot of, we don't recognize why we have certain pains and where they come from, and a lot of times we we just kind of brush it off and we say, oh, maybe I overworked it today, or maybe yeah. it was on my feet too long. That's one of the big ones. Yeah. But you actually may be having issues showing up in your feet that are related to your digestion or your spine or something. Exactly, exactly. And then a lot of people um, just do the typical thing of taking a paracetamol. I think you guys call it the same, like a painkiller. Yeah. Um, painkiller, and, yeah. But see, that just masks the problem. Of course, again, I'm not disreputing medicine. Um, I mean, medicine is a marvellous thing. Um, but I feel like sometimes if you can avoid taking it, um that's really is best for your well-being um and just being conscious of that um i think is a massive plus factor for your well-being because sometimes you don't always have to just go and reach for the medical cabinet you can maybe think about it in a different way or go and see an alternative therapist and they could um, potentially detect the problem get rid of the problem without the need of taking any 
chemicals and putting that in your body, you know? So I feel like if you can avoid taking medicine, then do and have a reflexology treatment or another alternative therapy rather than taking man-made drugs at the end of the day. And my, exactly. that's my personal exactly. so, <laughs> Jessica's not got another great question. What about for menstrual cramps? Yes, it's awesome for that. It's really, again, because the treatment itself is relaxing. So when you have a treatment, you lie down. So that in itself is lovely. You know, just been able to lie down, relax, switch off just for the treatment. You know, the treatment itself lasts a minimum of 45 minutes to an hour. But it is even having 20 minute lie down when you've got really bad tummy cramps when you're got your period you know it really really helps but it's also good for uplifting your mood because of the emotional um benefits of reflexology um so when you it is your time of the month um having a reflexology treatment can most certainly help yes <laughs> wonderful um <laughs> is there any like a like a school that you would recommend for somebody to be interested in this sort of thing to do yeah, some work? obviously i'm based in the uk um but if you went on to the federation of holistic therapists um or the association of reflexologists um you on the uk website i'm sure there would be links for that for america or other countries because i know um the collective is from all over i, I know everyone yes. to, to you lara so um yeah i mean wherever you may be based in the world um I would go myself on the Federation of Holistic Therapists in the UK, um, but then as an offshoot of that, it might guide you for your country or wherever you are in the world as to what to go to, but that would be the two ones I would recommend. And that's where you can find out about courses and where to find your ref your local reflexologist and so on. But another thing that I do do um, is something I've branched out into from, obviously, because I'm based just in Dorset and I cover um, the surrounding areas here but if you wanted to connect um, on another level I do holistic coaching which is all about um, again identifying areas that you might want to work on like mentally um, mind body spirit emotion um, and it's all about empowering um, and really wanting to help my clients um, be their best version at best version we look at things like lifestyle identify areas that they might want to make changes I help them establish goals um, and we set up strategies and things like that. So that's something else I do as well, which is really exciting. Wonderful. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm really curious. I'm going to have to try these one of myself. Is this mainly for people that are in person though, yeah? Well, no, I'm, we do it over the internet. So um, I've spoken to people oh. um, all over the UK um, and in Europe. I've had a, a few clients out in Europe just people that have lived in the UK um, and moved out to Europe. Um, not in America as yet, but we'll see. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, um, I always believe everyone's goal should be to be happy and healthy. Um, and that's, for me, that is success. Um, so when I do my coaching, I do it to, I've done it for businesses. Um, so people professionally and on a personal level, but it sounds a bit cheesy, but I always think the ultimate goal in life is to be happy and healthy and the whole un under everything that underpins that is for me I believe holistic health because without your health you can't be truly happy you can have all the money in the world but if you aren't healthy or if you don't really feel happy then you might have all this money but you can't really be successful if you know what I mean so again that's where I've branched out um with the holistic side of things so I call it like um TLC holistic solutions as um it says on my on the screen there um so reflexology is where it all began for me and that's the therapy side of things but like I said I've branched out into the coaching side of things as well but I always believe I mean would you agree with that would you say true success is to be healthy and happy in life or do you think that's true Lara, it's or? certainly one of the main goals uh yeah. we all go through periods where we are unhealthy and that's because we sometimes we start slacking with our 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 the things that we know we should be doing um mm -hmm. but then you know it is i think we learn a lot in trying to catch up too mm -hmm. um because if we're always doing the same if you have a let's say you have a good routine and it serves you well your whole life and you're never sick and you're never, you know what I mean? Like you, you're just, everything is always going well for you. That's fantastic. 
but you aren't learning as much as you could be through the illnesses and the because it is it's 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 a roller coaster a lot of times and with health stuff you get to know your body on a deeper level you get to know other plant medicines and other holistic therapies on a deeper level and you also get to learn about the system that is set up in place for people who are unwell and uh, and the system needs some work, as as pretty much every health practitioner in the world knows. The system is broken, and that's why there are so many alternatives out there that are flourishing, such as reflexology. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. Yeah, it's really interesting to hear your take on that. Um, yeah, I mean the system here. I you probably know it's the NHS, and that, that's really under a lot of pressure. But um. My brother lives out in America, and the, the system there is really tough, isn't it? If you get if you get poorly, um, it's all very privatized and things like that. I mean, this is a completely different subject to what we're talking about, but it's quite yeah. a crazy system, isn't it? Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't realize that they have these other, uh, op, you know, uh, opportunities to heal yeah. themselves in a in a deeper way. Most well, yeah, of us, we go to the doctors and just give us a prescription, and they say, "Oh, this will, you know, this might sort you out. We'll try this." Sometimes the medicines that are, can be given, not always, um, but sometimes they can be found to make things worse. Um, so that's yeah. why I really want to get this message out today that, you know, it's all about beginning within your your mind, body, your spirit, your emotions, getting those in balance. And that's where you will try, where you will find true health, you know. Um, it's all about connecting with oneself and, yeah, having knowledge of alternative therapies. You don't have to always take drugs to make yourself better you know <laughs> the re one of the reasons why the nhs and also the american um health system is so overrun is because our the way that we treat ourselves mm -hmm. we are not taking good care of ourselves and then when it gets to the point where we've got pain or extreme discomfort we're like well what can i do to sort this out and a lot of people are just looking for a, a quick fix or or something that'll actually you know um be less time consuming than having to actually work at it. If you could just pop a pill and make the pain go away. Yeah. yeah and that is a huge um, factor, isn't it? Um, we, we, I think everything in this world is so fast moving and you just want everything to be convenient and, you know, just quick, easy. But sometimes I think you need to take a step back and think, you know, of the bigger picture and, yeah, I just, it is concerning, but that's why we're here today, because we're trying to... Here you know, to teach people sense. how to heal themselves. They won't yeah. have to go to another practitioner. You can exactly. heal yourself in many ways. You can, 100%. You can totally heal yourself. Um, you really, really can. You really can, but a lot of people don't believe that. Like, going back to beliefs, you have to really believe that and know that, but a lot of people, we just aren't taught that, Um which is really sad. It's really sad, but we, but we, we're teaching it now. Hopefully, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, just making sure there's no comment, any questions I missed here. Um, I'm really interested in the teeth thing as well because it, they have said for a long time that your teeth will will affect your health of your entire body as well. I had no idea that there's actually teeth reflexology. Yes. Um. I'm not sure if it comes under the reflexology umbrella, but I mean, it is related to different parts of the body. So it's a very similar idea. Um, but yeah, so you eat, but it's like I had a root canal recently. I really reluctantly, um, my dentist convinced me it costs so much money. Um, I mean, that's just another um, negative point of it, but I really didn't want to have it done because I was looking for a holistic, um, a holistic dentist. There isn't any, there's hardly any, which is such a shame. Um, but then I found out um, if you if you just leave the, the I mean obviously it was very painful so I couldn't just leave it but I, I thought oh, I'll just get it taken out but my dentist and um, a friend who had recently had theirs with me said no don't because obviously they're one of the major teeth at the back don't get them taken out so I just had the treatment done but before I was researching I know you shouldn't go online for things like this but apparently because you're you're what this back to the the ones that usually get the root canals are related to I can't remember what part of the body but it can cause all these terrible things it can even cause like um like mental problems like depression and but yeah so it's quite scary isn't it when you think about it <laughs> yeah wow 
So I'm just wondering, um, what do you have for, for you, you say you do mentorship with this? Yeah, you have a link for that? Yeah, yeah, your, sure. Yeah? Is that on yeah, the uh, TLC Holistic Solutions? Let me just find yeah, that. Yeah, um, I've... Uh, Oh, we're having a glitch in the matrix. I'm not sure what happened there. So I'll try and find the link. <laughs> We've been having interesting glitches in the matrix this morning. This is why we were 10 minutes late. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh. Oh, we lost her. Oh, with audio only. Here we go. <laughs> I just have to laugh at these glitches lately. Mercury retrograde has been something else. I think her Wi-Fi might be struggling. If you refresh it, hon, it might work. Reload it. I wonder if she can still hear me. Let me find her. Hello. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Can you hear me now? I'm having some glitches here, but we can see you now at least. I can't hear you. I can't so hear you. Can you hear me? It should. I can't hear you. <laughs> this is what it was like before. Can you guys still hear me? Hello. This is what it was like earlier when we started loading it. She couldn't hear me. I couldn't hear her. And now we've swapped. <laughs> now she can. You can't hear both. You can hear both. Okay, you can hear me. Okay. Hello? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you know what? Because we, I'm using my phone, my husband just tried to call, and then it just messed it all up. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Mercury time. retrograde has been time. messing with us quite a lot. Yeah, sorry, Lara. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, there we yeah, go. So, um, um, I can add a link um, in the comments um, on on the Will it be on for Facebook? Is that the best place to do that? Yes, or? you can go through the yeah. comments as well afterward after the conversation and and uh, and have a look. There's a lot of comments. Yeah. Oh really? Oh good. Very I hope they're okay. <laughs> I hope they're positive. <laughs> Yes, they are. They're all very, very, very positive. We've got such oh, a no. lovely understanding group of people, and they, we, they oh, actually have a laugh about I'm these, so these snafus. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> lovely. It's really nice, and um, I was so happy and excited to find to find the collective. So yeah, it's wonderful to be part of it. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just looking right now. It's TLC Holistic Solutions. Is that yeah, what it is? Yeah, no? yeah that's. Um, I can find your lovely. link. Um, and the link um, would be I've got well I've got my R and R reflexology page um, and then I've got my is that what it is R and R yeah yeah R and R reflexology I should have asked so you for R these links beforehand my bad yeah. sorry no worries there we go R A N D R reflexology um, at G I found at, you at, yeah brilliant <laughs> um, so that's the reflex side. Um, and then um, I've got my conscious living group as well, um, which again encompasses everything um, to do with holistic living. Um, and then I've also done um, like a, a holistic stance for um, like sustainability. And I was doing events um, for um, living consciously, basically conscious living. So yeah, <laughs> that's another thing. But I've got four young children who are, my everything of course and um but they take up a lot of time <laughs> so they're, they're age like 13, 10 7 and 3 so a real age range as well and yeah it's my passion is um my business my, my, my professional passion is my reflexology and my holistic coaching and conscious living but it having children is hard to get the balance you know work-life balance yeah. <laughs> Do you have children? I do. I have an eight-year-old. Oh. 
Oh, lovely. Yeah, he's Aww. very sweet. Aw. <laughs> yeah. So he, I can only imagine how I, he keeps me busy as it is. I couldn't imagine having four of him. Yeah, <laughs> so, it's a Round of applause. Like, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'm like, wow, it just feels like oh, crazy. But um, but yeah, that's why today it was a good opportunity to, you know, get on with you today because it's um, the, the Easter break over here. I don't know if it's the same there in America. Um, but yeah, they're off today. So I've got them all sorted and I could... Not have to go off and do school runs or anything. <laughs> nice, <laughs> wonderful. Well, I I really love that you uh, are so invested in in this work because there's so many people that need to learn holistic therapies. So thank you very much for for doing this work and for offering mentorships and sort of thing. Do you have any? Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if you've got any events coming up. Let's see. Just looking at your page now. Oh, okay, I see your conscious living community. I'll share a link for that as well. Oh, and it did it again, didn't it? There we go. Can you still hear me okay? Nope. <laughs> More glitches in the matrix. There's her. <laughs> looks like Hubby called back. That's funny. Um, <laughs> there's the link for the group for you guys if you want to uh, join her group and learn more about reflexology <laughs> her phone is like nope exactly yeah. uh, thank you Lynn you're so sweet I have no training in this so I'm winging it as I go <laughs> so thank you very much <laughs> I appreciate you saying that I think she will come back in a second when she's just reloading it so we'll give her a second Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Daniel says that many kids might need a bulldozer track to run you over back and forth. <laughs> yes, I can only imagine. Four kids must keep you very, very busy. Um, so yeah, more this is what's expected though, you guys. Mercury retrograde. <laughs> this is what it does to us these days. It took us 10 minutes just to get on here for some reason this morning. It was not working. So I don't know what's going on. Anybody else noticing some Mercury retrograde stuff? Hmm. Yes, it is. It does what it does. <laughs> it does this every time Mercury comes to visit. We've <laughs> been getting all kinds of glitches in the matrix. Well, I uh, I will plug the events on a star today. For those of you who don't know, we have renamed Divinate to Astara Metaphysics, or I should say the Astara Community. Um, let's see. Today at 12.15, Kim Beekman is going to be coming on doing a meditation. So make sure that you guys are coming on and saying hi to Kim Beekman. Patty Oliver at 7 o'clock is going to be doing a live stream at 7 p.m. EST. Tara's back. I'm so sorry. My husband doesn't Did realize that. I'm I'm using my phone, so I've just texted him saying stop calling because he's called twice now. I'm so sorry. I do apologise, Lara. What a nightmare! This happens. Mercury, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> I'm not just telling them it's all Mercury retrograde. It's totally okay. These things happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. There we go, Daniela. <laughs> thank you very much. Wednesday in a star, there's going to be the the Kim Beekman live stream or Zoom. Then you've got the Violet Flame Shamanic Healing at 7 p.m. Uh, we also have the uh, oh, that's the Violet Flame that Kim is doing. Okay, at 7 p.m. we have the live stream with Patty Oliver. Unleash your soul gifts with the Akashic Records. So for those of you who are interested in learning about uh, the Akashic Records and Shamanic Healing, you don't want to miss the events for today. Thank you very much, Daniela. And thank you very much, Tara, for coming to, to hang out with us. I've learned quite a bit today, and I'm excited to have my own reflexology appointment now. Yeah, you must, Lara. Honestly, it's amazing. You'll love it. Absolutely love it. And thank you so much, Lara, for having me. I'm really grateful, and I've been so excited to get have this time to share my passion and connect with you and connect with the collective and it's been wonderful so thank you and i'm so sorry about the glitches um no, it's yeah, okay. like everything that, so happens for a reason you know <laughs> these things are it's, we just learn as we go and it's yeah, totally okay <laughs> oh thank you so so much thank you for your time it's a and pleasure. Thank you.
Make sure if you guys follow Tara. I'm gonna share one more one more link for her. This is the Conscious Living Community that she's got yeah. that you you, know, you can follow her group page and uh, join in with some of the discussions. Thank you so much for everything today, and this has been a wonderful conversation. Thank you, Lara. Take care. Thank you. Much love, everyone. See you, you soon. So Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Cheers, Lara. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs>